and these niggas solid. But there are a lot of you laws, and majority of you laws are. I don't know if you boys trying to chase action. Like you boys act like y'all really want that smoke, but without that uniform, y'all never want that smoke. When y'all was in high school, y'all was peons. Y'all wasn't about none of that action. But not since y'all lawmen, all of a sudden now y'all gladiators. Bam. What's up everybody? Bitty Daddy Vlog Life. Um Corporate vlog, that's what I'm gonna call it. I can't call it a travel vlog. Um, not at the crib. Um, I had the J came out here to vlog and talk and talk to my people. New episode, no talking about it. So um Crown Rule. We still need that sponsor. Yes we do. I know y'all looking for an ambassador. All my people, we Crown Rule, we just gonna keep on adding you, keep on adding you, keep on adding you. Because better that vlog life will be doing well over a million views this year alone. Y'all know y'all need the right person on y'all team. And y'all need somebody that really can represent y'all right. So, yeah, Crown Road, we need that sponsor. But y'all know I'm here. I'm here to talk about this. Uh, well, actually, first thing I'm going to talk about, my partner sent me a video. And it was on IG. And basically, it was a lawman getting handled. For y'all, for those of you who don't know Southern language and don't know what a lawman is, a lawman is a police officer. So a police officer was inside. It looks like he was inside the Apple Store. I'm gonna drop the link below of the actual IG video so y'all can check it out. Cause he sent me the IG video of the shit when he sent. I was like, man, what the fuck? So anyway, oh buddy, he he gives what they call a directive. He's telling some dude something. The dude by rule and by law whatever he's not being compliant he, he's not being belligerent he's not acting a fool he's not doing no wild shit the lawman runner is is all up in his personal area and he stepped up to that boy and you know he's saying whatever whatever so the dude kind of standing there just he not saying nothing he ain't doing no wild shit you know he just kind of man the man like man look here well i'm shoot we're gonna see what you're gonna do the lawman shoves him in the chest in the face all kind of shit and so him and old buddy, they get to wrestling. These boys get to wrestling. Old dude suplexes the lawman and punch the lawman, hitting, hit, hitting him, hitting him in the face, and this and that. A lot of people are claiming like it's self-defense. It's probably not gonna be self-defense, and the reason it's probably not gonna be self-defense is strictly based off the fact that the lawman gave him a directive. He didn't follow the directive, and as a result of that, he was not compliant and on top of the fact that once he was out of a realm of a point of self-defense he still kept hitting the lawman so that can kind of be perceived as assault oh behind you yeah that's where we at uh downtown yeah kind of high see toyota right there um gym where i work out down here Shit, my parking garage is on the other side of the gym house of blues is back there yeah so yeah our bearded daddy does have a job a degree and we're gonna get to it but anyway man so my thing police officers a lot man all of y'all boys ain't hoes all of y'all boys ain't suckers there are a nice amount of legit lawmen. Like, I got partners that's laws. I'm not going to say 12 or 12, but I got partners that's laws. And these niggas solid. But there are a lot of you laws. And majority of you laws are... I don't know if you boys trying to chase action. Like, you boys act like y'all really want that smoke. But without that uniform y'all never want that smoke when y'all was in high school y'all was peons y'all wasn't about none of that action but not since y'all lawmen all of a sudden now y'all gladiators man man you say you niggas really need to quit quit it with that shit because as you can see from the video in the link below like you niggas is really getting handled and you boys is really like you didn't even have to take it there like officer whatever you told old buddy i'm pretty sure you could have Maybe got your point across in a, in a different way. Like, look here, man. I'm not trying to go here with you. 
you're not trying to go here with me. I'm trying to go to the crib. You're trying to go to the crib. So regardless of the situation, anything that escalates from here, you will go to jail. Now, whether you beat the charge or not, who knows? That's on you. But either way, you will take your ass to jail. And if you have a job and if it's a weekday, that's going to look like a no call, no show. You got to look at bail money. You got to look at a lawyer. So either way, you looking at probably $1,000 off top. I'm talking about in bail money, lawyer fees. Let's hope you're not at a business which you was. And let's hope that the law and everything is cool to where you can get your keys to somebody you don't get your car towed. Because if you get your car towed, you're paying three thirty one eighteen. At least that's what I do it. Houston. You're paying three thirty one eighteen for that day alone. So if you're there for some days, oh, nigga. So all of this shit, it, man, it, it's, it's blame on both sides. Like, law, man. Some, a lot of you need to be trying to overdo your job. And sometimes on the flip side, like a lot of these boys, they really just don't be respecting just the law, the situation. Like, even the lawman as a whole, I'm trying to get back to the highs. So I'm really not trying to do no wild shit. I'm not trying to have it be no wild shit because I'm trying to get back to squeeze and sweet. And me paying this extra thousand and all this extra money and everything is not going to benefit my girls at the crib. Like, that's what it's not going to do is taking money out of their miles and all of this shit. Who knows? That could have been my little travel money. That could have really been my motherfucking Crown Royal money. So now, man, there's just so many different situations that involve in that. That, man, sometimes that shit just really don't be worth it. Like, for real, for real. Like, a lot of times that shit don't be worth it. But everybody and men, everybody got their own standards, morals. What you are going to let ride, what you're not going to let ride. So I get all that. So that's still just based upon each man and individual and what he willing to deal with. So hopefully there are a lot of situations where you boys are willing to deal with more than the average to make it to the crib and to be safe and to still be a family man at the end of the day. Like it's definitely about being a family man, being a provider and not putting yourself in a situation that's going to cost you money or you end up losing your job behind none of this shit that's really what it's all about so y'all can comment below y'all can tell me what you think hopefully you can pass this off to a police officer pass this off to somebody that you know that's a law man somebody that's a legit law man somebody that may be on the fence but you want them to see something and maybe in hopes to change their mind frame to get them to calm down yeah send them this video to it anybody can add me we can talk about it that's what we're gonna do, you know what I'm talking about? So, um, get my ass on back to the J. Be the daddy vlog, like, you know what I'm talking about? Man.